watching Global Daily Mirror News Alert. Bureau of Corrections Director General Gerald Bantag has been preventively suspended following the death of an inmate being tagged as the middleman in the killing of broadcaster Percy Lapid. At a press briefing on Friday, Justice Secretary Jesus Crispin Rimulia said the order to suspend Bantag came from President Bongbong Marcos during their meeting on Thursday. Rimulia said he appointed former Armed Forces Chief of Staff Gregorio Catapang Jr. as officer in charge of Bucor. The Bureau of Jail Management and Penology conducted the Greyhound operation at the Manila City Jail Mail Dorm in Quezon Boulevard, Santa Cruz, Manila. BGMP aims to eliminate contraband and illegal drugs within the jail facility which will result in a safer environment suitable for the rehabilitation and development of PDL. Meron po tayong order coming from the DILG po kay Attorney Benjamin Abels po nung kanyang, sa kanyang pagkakaupo pa lamang po. Nag, ano po siya, nag-order po sa, sa amin sa BGMP na pagpaigtingin po natin ang paglilinis ng ating mga piitan. Ito po rin po ay order din po ng ating jail director Alan S. Iral po na magkaroon po ng intensified greyhound operation po sa lahat po ng pasilidad ng BGMP. Ito po ay pagsunod natin sa kanilang mga order na kung saan uh, layunin po nating linisin ang mga illegal na contraband gaya po ng mga deadly weapon at mga illegal na droga kung sakasakali mang po may mat matagpuan po tayo. Philippine National Police and Bureau of Fire Protection also participated in the operations. Meanwhile, militant groups demonstrated a protest today along Mendiola to commemorate the Peasant Month. Peasant Day is usually celebrated on October 21, which is exactly one month after Ferdinand Marcos Sr. declared martial law and promulgated Presidential Decree 27 decreeing the emancipation of tenant farmers of rice and corn lands. PD-27 was the first agrarian reform law in the country to require not only the lowering of land rent, but also the redistribution of land to its tillers. Today's storm warning signal number one remains hoisted over Batanes, Bapuyan Islands, and northeastern portion of mainland Cagayan or Santa Ana and Gonzaga. According to Pagasa, Tropical Depression Obet was last located at about 204 kilometers east of Basco Batanes while moving westward at 20 kilometers per hour. It will pass over or very close to the Batanes Bapuyan Islands area either this afternoon or evening. TD Obet is forecast to exit the Philippine area of responsibility by Saturday morning. Meanwhile, the combined effects of the shear line and rains brought about by TD Albet will bring cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms over Ilocos region, Cordillera region, and the rest of Cagayan Valley. Inka Magnaya gets emotional as she experienced traveling to another country for the first time. Voice talent and social media personality Inka Magnaye couldn't help but be emotional as she expressed her happiness in visiting another country. In the video she shared online, the VO talent was seen in tears of joy as the plane landed at its destination, which was Singapore. I feel so grateful, so lucky, she wrote in the caption of her post. Earlier, she explained that she does not travel because it's expensive, but stressed that she is working hard to be able to afford it. Meanwhile, Angelica Panganiban finally shows baby Amila's face. Actress Angelica Panganiban took to Instagram to reveal her daughter's face to the world, showing her cute smile with her lovely gray eyes, looking so happy in the snaps posted by the actress after a month of being born. Just recently, Angelica Panganiban and Greg Holman announced their engagement through a YouTube vlog. That's the latest for this hour. Subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram and visit www.globaldailymirror.com. This has been Ice Martinez. Good day.